In this video, I'll do a full example solve on the 7x7 cube. Alright, welcome to this example solve of the 7x7. So we'll start out by looking for which centre we should solve first, and we have easy, an easy enough inner 1x5 bar on the white centre. So we've got these three pieces, and this one, and just we can attach, we can just attach this one like so, to create our first 1x5 bar on the white side. Now I see that if I can attach this piece to these two and this one by doing a U2 and then slicing it to create these four pieces of my next 1x5 bar and uh, I can attach this piece here to these four like so and then bring them back down. Now I'm going to create another inner 1x5 bar. So we've got this innermost one, the center one. Then we've got these two. So I'm going to create this one next using this center and this one. So I'll pair these up together and take them out of the yellow face. So now I've got this piece, this piece, and also this piece to work with. And the last inner center is this one. So this is the inner edge center. So I'll do a U and then slice both of these up to create this one by four. And now I need to find a final oblique center to put here, which I can use this one for. So slice this out of the way, U and then R. And now I've solved this next one by five bar and I can put it up to the top there. Now, the next thing I see is I can solve uh, an outer one by five bar with these three pieces firstly, and this piece, so I can do a slice move, U2, slice back to create the first four pieces of that. And then we can attach this final white centerpiece up here. Move it across, bring that slice back down and then put it into that layer. Now, next up, I can create a one by three block. So using these two and this one here, so I can slice and then slice back after I've moved it out of the way. So now I just need to create this last one by five bar and I can use these three and this one. So move this up across and back down and then attach this final centerpiece here and then move it back down. And now I've solved the white center. Next up, I'm going to solve the yellow center. So I've got these two and this one already for my first inner one by five bar. Now I can attach this inner edge center like so, like so, move it across and bring the slice back down. And then finally attach this uh, outer edge center to these four by doing R, U, R prime like that. And now I've got this inner one by five bar. Next up, I can create, I can attach these two to this one like that. And then these two, up here, like so. Rotate and then insert them into my yellow center, like so. For my next inner one by five bar, I'm going to use this one and these two, firstly, for this inner one by three, and then attach two oblique centers to that. So this one, and then this one, up like so, and then insert it into my yellow face also. Now it's up, I'm up to the final one by five, uh, the final two outer one by fives. So I've got these two and this one, which I can connect like so. Then this one can come and connect to these ones. And then I'll attach this one over to this position by bringing it down, moving it across, and then bringing it back up like so. Then I'll do an R, U2, R prime. And there's just one more one by five bar to solve on yellow. So firstly, what I'll do is take this one out of the top. So attach this corner center to this corner center by doing a U, R prime, U prime, R. So I've got these two here. Now I need to look firstly, I see these, this one, which I can connect with those. And then this one, I can slice and bring down here. And then remembering that I've got these two and these two here, I've got this one. So I can move that to this position by doing a U2 
and then slice it and then insert my final 1x5 bar to finish off my yellow center. After finishing the yellow center, I see immediately that I can create a very easy orange 1x5 bar. So I've got these two and these two and the orange center is here. So I can just slice it down like so and create this first 1x5 bar on orange. Now next up, I can use these two to attach here working on my inner 1x5 bar and then I'll attach these two like so, move them across and bring them back down. Now I'm going to build another inner 1x5 bar. So I've got this one and this one, this one, this one, this, this one and this one and this one, sorry. These three pieces and this one. So I can slice it, move it across slice back. Now I need to find an oblique center to put in this position and I can use this one like so and then move it back down. Now I need to create an outer 1x5 bar. So firstly what I'm going to do is attach this inner, this outer edge center to these two obliques by slicing, moving them across and then slicing back. Then I'm going to attach this corner center to these two by doing an R, U2, R prime. Now I just need one more corner center so I can use this one to create the, the next one by five bar. Now next up, I'm going to attach these two to this corner center to build my last one by five. So I've got these three already. Um, I'll need to take this one out of the orange face to use to attach to these three. Like so. And I can bring this up. Now I've got four pieces of my final 1x5 bar and the last piece is over here. So I can attach it, move it across, and then put it into my orange face. So now I've solved the orange center as well. So next up, I'm going to work on the blue center. So I've got these three already solved for me. And I'm going to attach firstly this inner edge center here and then this outer edge center to create this first one by five bar on blue. Now next up um, I can use one, two, three, four. So these four pieces of blue and this, uh, this center piece. So slice it, move it across and then slice back down to create this first one by five. And I can put it down here by doing R2, U2, R2, like that. And then next I can use these two pieces and this one and bring them down to this face to start working on my next inner one by five bar. So I can use this one and attach it to these ones by doing an R, U, R prime, U prime, R, U, R prime, like that. So now I've got four and the last one I'm going to use is this one here, this oblique. So attach it and then insert that. And now I've got these three one by five bars solved on blue. Um, next up, I can use these two and this one. So I can attach these two to this one by doing a wide R, U2, wide R prime. So now I've got three centers solved of my, last, of my second last one by five bar. Um, I can attach this one to it, like that. And then to these four, I can use this one. I can attach this one by doing an R2, U, R2, like that. Now I need to work on my last one by five bar. So I guess probably what I'll do first is attach this one and this one, like that then I guess I can attach this one as well, like so. Now I need to take this one out of this blue face to enable me to work with it. So I'll just take it out here, then attach it to these ones, like so. And then pair this last corner center up with this one by four. And insert it. Now I've solved my blue center. So finally, for the last two centers, uh, I'm going to build a one by five bar in the middle first using this piece and these two to create the first one by three, like so. And then these two pieces here to create my one by five and then move it like this. 
Now to create my next one by five, so an inner one by five, I can probably use, hmm, there's a few different options. I can just attach these two to this one. And now I've got these three pieces and this one here, and I can just use this one to slice up across and then back down like that. Next up, I'm going to work on, so uh, I guess one handy trick which I've shown you is you can use M prime U two M to attach an, uh, an outer edge center to two obliques. So what I'm going to do is place this one opposite these two by doing slice moves like that. Uh, not slice moves, sorry, but just by doing a setup move. So wide R U wide R prime U prime. Then I can do M prime U two M, which will attach this one to these ones. And then finally finish off the final, uh, the, the outer one by five bar here by doing wide R U prime, wide R prime, like that. And now I'm going to move them onto this left hand side. Next up, I'm going to attach this one to these two to start working on my next inner one by five bar. And then I can put this one up to create this one by four. And then finally use this oblique to create my last uh, inner one by five bar and then insert it. Now what I can do here is uh, I'll need to use M prime U to M to attach this edge outer edge center to these obliques, to, to one of these obliques. So I can just do setup moves like that then do M prime U two M to attach these two together and then insert these. So connect this one up with these, th these two pieces like that. And then insert these three along with this final corner center like so. And now I'll need to use a commutator to switch these two oblique pieces. And now we've solved the centers. So after solving the centers on our seven by seven, it's time to start pairing up our edge pieces. Now, ideally we don't really want to start solving our edge pieces with, you know, just one edge. We want to look for a couple of edge pieces which are solved relative to one another. So I guess one, one choice we could go with here are these red and white edges. So we've got this one down here and this one up here. So we can start working with those. So I see two more red and white edges here. What I'm going to do, is just do an R prime. Now I notice that I can put this one with these two, so this one here, this oblique edge, like that, and then this one I can flip, and then I have four of my five red and white edge pieces. Now the last red and white edge piece isn't in the top layer, so I'll flip over, and it's on this side, and it is here. So I can just put it to this position by doing F, R prime, F prime, R, then slicing to finish off my first red, uh, my first edge on the seven by seven, which is the red and white edge. Now, going into my next edge, I see here that I have these red and green ones. So I'm just going to put these red and green ones into the middle layer so I can start working with them. And I see another red and green one here. So I'll insert it and match it up with these. Now I don't see any more red and greens on the top. I see this one here. So I can match it up to create those. And then my final red and green one is over here. And now I've solved this. What I'm gonna do is flip it over again and remembering to store my first four edges all on one face, which makes it easier for the rest of the solve. So I see these two red and yellows and this red and yellow one here. So I'll solve those. And then the last two red and yellow edges are actually here and here. So that's going to be quite an easy case. So I'm just going to insert those, insert that one, slice it over there, then insert this one, and then slice it. So now I've solved the red and yellow. Now I see these two blue and yellows here. So I'm just going to take this out and look for some more blue and yellow pieces. And I see this one, which slices to create this three edge pair. And I see this blue and yellow one. So I'm going to insert it like that. And then the final blue and yellow one is here. So I can insert it and finish my blue and yellow edge. And then what I'm going to do is just store it and then flip over the cube. And now I've got four edges solved all on the bottom. 
And next up, I see these green and whites. So this green and white one can match up with these two. Then I've got this green and white one, which I can match up. Then I have this green and white one, which I can flip and match up with these ones. Next up, I see I have three blue and, uh, blue and oranges here. So these two and this one, which are already created for me, which is, which is quite nice. And these sorts of things will happen on 7x7. Seven seven. The other, another blue and orange is here. So I can insert it, slice it over there. And the final blue and orange piece is here. So I can solve those. Now, the next thing that I see are probably these two. So the white and orange pieces. So I'll just insert them here. And I see this other white and orange one. So I can pair them up. And then these two white and orange pieces are here already connected quite nicely. So I can pair them up and solve them. Now the next thing I see are these orange and green ones right here. So what I'll do is take out that edge. Now I just have one more edge to solve, to solve my first eight edges. Um, and it's, yeah, it's these orange and green ones. And the last two orange and green pieces are actually both back here. So it's just a matter of slicing, slicing to solve those. And then what I'll do is put it into the top layer and then restore my center pieces. So as I showed in the tutorial, what I'm going to do is solve the inner three edges as if they were five by five by five edges, and then solve those three along with the outer two edges as if they were again like five by five edges. So I've got this case here where I've got this flipped uh, wing piece. So I'll replace it with this one, flip, and then slice back like that. Now I've got these three. Then what I'm going to do is I'll probably work on these ones. So I've got this one here and these two back here. So I can do an R2 move, then slice, flip this one in place, and slice back to create these three, like that. And finally, what I'm going to do is I'll slice this one here, flip it in place, slice back to create these two. Now to finish off these two, I've got this one here, so I can slice, flip it, and slice back. Now I've solved these three as well. Unfortunately, we have inner edge parity, so I'll need to do my parity algorithm. But now once I've done that, I've solved all four of these inner three edges, and it's time to move on to the solving the rest of the, I guess, outer edge pieces. So I just did a U2 there to move this yellow and green one to this position, and these yellow and green ones are here. So all I need to do is just slice there, flip this one in place, and then slice back, and that solves these. Now, next up, um, I see I've got these ones over here. What I can do is, uh, I see that I can slice it like this to solve them, but obviously I need something to replace it with if I'm going to solve them. So I've got this unsolved edge in the back here. I can bring it across, then when I do my slice, I can replace it like this and slice back. And now I'm left with my last two edges, uh, edges left to solve. And I have this one as my flipped case. So I can just flip this edge in place, replace it, flip it, and slice back. And our last edge was solved correctly there as well. So now we've solved our centers and our edges. I just need to do the three by three stage. So I'll do it on white cross, just move that one there this one, and then LU2 L prime to finish my cross. Um, I can solve this F2L pair like that, then this F2L pair, then this F2L pair, then this F2L pair, OLL, and then PLL. And then we're solved.